So I've been playing a lot of Destiny 2 lately, maybe even too much. I started playing Destiny 2 since maybe 2018, but I got sucked in at about October last year and... haven't stopped playing since. Wow. And all the right to it, it's a ton of fun, tremendously rewarding, and great with friends. Wait. Destiny 2, the MMORPG that you don't really realize is an MMORPG, because even the developers don't really call it that, except they do, and the game is basically structured like one, minus the top-down third-person perspective that you're likely used to. I think the one reason I ever got myself into Destiny 2 was because I thought it was another shooty-shoot PvP Call of Duty-esque thing, but I was impressed to be met with a lot more. Pick from one of three classes, Warlocks, Titans, and Hunters. I'll try to make it easier to understand for those who haven't really dipped their toes into the game. The Titans are the ones that used to play on the football team in high school. They're tanky, built to stand, and defend. Shields, rushes, and heavy attacks are included. The Warlocks are the ones that would read during recess. They're the support classes with healing or damage boosting rifts for teammates to stand in, but are fully capable of defending themselves with strong abilities, grenades, melees, and supers. Also, you can wield a giant flaming sword, which is just fucking cool. Finally, the Hunters. These are the small athletic kids who were impossible to hit in dodgeball in middle school. God, these analogies are horrendous. Super mobile, tactical, and pack a good punch too. You've got throwing knives, can turn invisible with supers, use arc stats, pretty cool stuff. And the best part is, you aren't limited to only one class, it's perfectly capable to make a character of each class. There's a lot to do. So much, in fact, that I can't even list all of it. Not just because the list is long, but I don't think I've experienced it all or ever really will. Albeit a lot of the content you can do is a lot of PvE which gets horrendously repetitive at one point, but hey, you know that you'll keep doing it for whatever reward you're trying to reach. So be it triumphs, armors, weapon drops, collections, challenges, bounties, quests, oh yeah, quests. The big thing that pulled me into Destiny 2 was just how much there was to do, even without either expansions. True, a lot of the exotic weapons are locked behind mostly Forsaken, but there's plenty you can get from the base game that are really pretty neat and good. Some that even sit or used to sit at some of the best. And the most broken. I think the biggest gripe I have with this game is the grind, as do many. A big thing that's difficult to forget this game is that before all, it's a looter shooter. What do you do? You get loot to incrementally increase that number in the top to make yourself more powerful. I can't say it's far from RPGs, but it's always flaunted in your face in PvT when you get curb stomped on by players that have absolutely more understanding of weapon metas, picking the best mods and stat rolls on weapons, knowing what guns are good, <coughs> fuck the mountain top, <coughs> and which are not, against me just here for a good time with whatever guns are fun to play with. I've enjoyed my time with Destiny, there's always a goal to reach towards, and I really don't mind buying both Forsaken and Shadowkeep since the game is free after all, and I've never paid a penny to buy it in the first place. At least the current free version isn't like the Battle.net free version that limited your growth, giving you a horrible disadvantage compared to other players and would lead to you getting curve stomped in Crucible. I mean, I'd rather take it if I was offered a car with some missing wheels and a half-dead engine, but it definitely sucked. And thank god they changed it for this new free-to-play version that came out a couple months ago. Nonetheless, it's plenty of fun on your own or with friends. Some of the areas in the game are completely amazing to look at. The Dreaming City's gemstone caves have to be one of my favorite. The forests of the EDZ, there's plenty of nice views and there's so much intricate details into the worlds that just make them seem more established as real places rather than these settings. And with that, so many secrets. God, I love secrets. Finding the Thorn and later on the Lumina quests was super cool for me in the EDZ, since I didn't watch Destiny 2 videos at all then. I only played blindly, so it was definitely satisfying to find that. Raids are definitely a blast. It sucks that I don't really have a group to play with consistently anymore, since none of my friends play anymore, but cooperating and solving the tricky puzzles and systems and battles are tons of fun and a blast if you're with friends. Like I said, there's always something to do, an exotic to work for, a set of armor you like, a title to achieve, triumphs or lore books to finish. As monotonous as it is sometimes, I can't argue I haven't enjoyed it. One of the things that I think sucks though is customization. Shaders are obviously a bit irritating, the community has complained about quality of life patches to improve the inventory for it for such a long time. I get it wouldn't validate shaders completely, but a customization and coloring system similar to Warframe for example would be so amazing, where you can pick the color in the area even if it takes a grind to unlock the ability to do so on a specific single weapon or armor. Like a paint tool you need to achieve through a quest or bounty from Eververse or Master Rahul. I don't know, it's just a small thought. Would I recommend Destiny 2 to others? It counts. If you have your friends who are equally interested, go for it. 
But if you're impatient and not there for the grind, it is not your game. It's monotonous, it's repetitive, and it can get boring. But I love it anyways. Every update is worth looking forward to, not because of the horrible monetization system that plagues the industry, but for the updates to gameplay. New events, new enemies, new patches. They just seem to be improving some of the classes that make them feel better. Guns like the Lord of Wolves finally got nerfed. Last season I had a lot of fun playing Sundial for example. Even the dawning made me work out all those cookies. <laughs> and I do mean all of them. If you enjoyed this video and want me to make more Destiny videos, I'd be more than happy to, since I love this game. So, let's see how this does. Now for the love of god, can you please nerf the mountaintop?